Welcome back Seahawks, Perry DeLuke here with Seahawks Central Sports bringing you the latest news in the UNCW sporting world. Don't touch that dial because Seahawks Central Sports starts right now. Last week, the UNCW Student Athlete Advisory Committee participated in the CAA Blood Donation Challenge. Our reporter, Kristen Dre, has a story. Kristen. Thanks, Perry. For 12 years, the UNCW Student Athlete Advisory Committee has partnered with the American Red Cross for their annual blood drive. The Colonial Athletic Association has made it a sort of fun competition to see which school can donate the most amount of blood on their designated day. It sounds sort of gruesome, but hey, the winner gets a trophy. Let's see what got participants out here to donate today. Student athletes are running it. I mean, we organize it, volunteer, help out, giving the donors uh, food and drink afterwards, handing out t-shirts, coordinating the sign-ups and all that. We recruited a lot over the last week. Uh, throughout campus and promoted uh, through Wilmington as well. Oh, we've been working with UNCW for years now. We're just so grateful for our relationship with this wonderful school, this great facility, all the wonderful volunteers here today and the donors. I've seen students and faculty members um, just so excited to participate and to help give back to the community. And, you know, without folks like UNCW, we wouldn't be able to uh, partner with our hospitals and to help save patients' lives. So we're just really grateful for UNCW. So this is my first time donating blood. Um, it wasn't painful at all. Um, it just, it's important because there's a huge need for it right now. Um, every time you donate, you save three lives. Um, I think that's more than enough reason to come out and donate. I don't know about you guys, but hearing what motivated these participants to come out and donate has encouraged me to do the same, to give back to the community. I'm Kristen Jerry reporting for Seahawks Central Sports, Teal TV. Back to you. Thanks, Kristen. Coming off their 1-0 win against Coastal Carolina University Thursday, the UNCW women's soccer team had a stellar performance this past Sunday with their 3-1 win over Francis Marion. Scoring for the Seahawks yet again was Katrina Guyou and add an assist to that game uh, to her already impressive resume. Also scoring was Stephanie Bronson and substitute Lauren Nevelko. With this win, the Seahawks marked their fourth straight victory and fifth win in six games as they closed out their non-conference portion of their schedule with a 5-5-0 record. No doubt about it, those Seahawks are soaring. In a dominating performance, the UNCW rugby team recently defeated East Carolina University with a whopping score of 58-0. See them in action next October 5th at the Gazebo Field, located right here on the campus of UNCW. With their second tournament title of the season, the Seahawks now move to 11-3 overall as they defeated Winthrop this past Saturday in the Winthrop Invitational 3-1 and Bethune-Cookman 3-0. Freshman Nicole Lott was crowned tournament MVP. Catch these girls Friday, September 27th as they star off CAA play at Hofstra. Over the past weekend, the UNCW men's tennis team traveled north to Virginia as well as New Haven, Connecticut. Senior Rafael Aida took fifth place in the Virginia Ranked Plus One Invitational and the Seahawks went 3-1 in the Ivy Plus Invitational. While the men's tennis team was getting busy in Connecticut, the Lady Hawks were even busier in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Alyssa Ritchie won the championship of the A1 singles, and when she paired up with Angie Sakelli to win the A2 doubles, the duo was unstoppable. However, the rain was also unstoppable, shorting play on Sunday at the annual College of Charleston Women's Tennis Invitational at the College of Charleston Tennis Center. UNCW surfer Shane Byrne is getting some internet action as the footage shot by Julian Martin surfaced. Byrne is a member of the UNCW Surf Club. You can follow this link to see some of his surfing footage, and you may also want to check out the UNCW Surf Club, as in recent years has become a standout amongst collegiate surf teams, winning several surfing championships in the past years. If you didn't catch the game this past Sunday, well, you certainly missed out. I'm talking about football. Finally, our Carolina Panthers played a pretty noteworthy game against the New York Giants. Not to say that Cam Newton and the gang haven't been putting up some impressive numbers, but I think it's safe to say the program has certainly turned things around. Defeating the Giants 38-0. Oh yeah, and Eli Manning, he was sacked seven times, six in the first half. Newton threw for 223 yards with two touchdowns to Brandon LaFell and ran for 45 yards, which included his first rushing touchdown of the season. The Panthers have a bye next weekend, and the Giants hope to capitalize next week, traveling to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs, hopefully leaving Carolina and Tom Coughlin's worst game as head coach behind them. Until next time, that does it for this episode of Seahawks Central Sports presented by UNCW's Teal TV. Catch the next episode October 3rd. Check out UNCW Sports for more info and highlights. 
Hope to see some of my fellow Seahawks around campus. And don't forget to join Team Teal for chances to win prizes just for attending a UNCW home game. We are the voice of UNCW Sports, and I'm Perry DeLuke. Have a good one, folks.